Hi, this is Marco Sturm, and this is the coach's site, Chalk Talk Series. So the name of the drill, it's, going to, it's called uh, the one, two, five, four check. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a really good four check and teaching drill. Uh, it doesn't matter which level you're in, it doesn't matter how old you are. Okay, but before we start, we just want to talk about a couple, few more details about the four check as well. Right. What, what, what we try to do is, uh, you know, having that, that F1 going in either side. All right. So we talk about angle. All right. We want to have an angle, a good angle, as much as we can, because we want to squeeze in on one side. You want to have a good stick. You want to have a good stick by reaching out. All right. Stick to stick. All right. Not just the stick like in your in your feet. No. You got to know exactly where the puck is placed, and that's where you want to have your, 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 your stick, all right? Okay, we talked about the F1, all right? I'm going to write here, you got to talk F1. F2, all right? When he comes in, we, his job is to close that wall, right? So you want to come in together uh, as a unit, five guys, but especially you got to watch where the F1 is, all right? So he comes in closer to the wall, because if there's any chips, uh, beside the wall, you're gonna be. You want to be the guy, you know, who closing that wall and, and create that uh, that turnover. You know, the goal. I think the goal is you want that defenseman to come here with the puck. All right. Now we can squeeze him in that corner. All right. With having a F3 coming out this way as well, and that's why this guy you have to be patient as well. You can't just come in here, close the wall, and jump in there. All right. There's a different story. There's two. Uh, uh, there's a different story. Okay. If this guy is under pressure, we want you to go hard. All right. If he has full control with that puck, you got to be patient. All right. You got to be patient. You got to hold your ground a little bit. We do have this guy, this D coming up, just to give you an option or just an idea um, how the the play might end up. Um, could be over, there's two ways, right? There's uh, over this side or this D, you know, he doesn't feel comfortable to put it up the glass or give it to any, any uh, open or unopen uh, forwards in the middle. So he might, he might reverse it behind the net um, with the D over this side. I just want to explain it as well, you know, what's, what's their job from F1 and F2 and F3? As well, if if uh, if the if the defenseman switches sides, um, uh, just like here I showed. So we want this guy here, the F1, try to stay between the dots if possible. He want he don't want to get dragged out too much because on the way back, it's a little bit longer. You want to be quicker as quick as you can. So you want to stay between the dots here, right? To reattack. Okay, three attack to the middle. If it goes D to D, we have the F3, right, coming like this. He can hold if it's too late. He, he can hold. If not, he can go right away as hard as he can. And this is, this is the key guy as well, is the F2. And we talk about trust, all right? He, he's the guy. He has to cover his buddies, his limits, um, if there is any, any clear breakouts from, from your opponent. So that means the puck goes over here on this side. He has to hurry up, right? He has to be the guy who's coming across. Why he has to do it? Because you probably have another defenseman, right? Who's going to join here. You're going to have another defenseman if the puck's coming here. We want him to pinch as well. And who's, who's going to cover this, this ice here? It's got to be the F2. I'm just going to start to showing you and explain that drill um, just the way we did it uh, in, the, in, in the past um, as well. So you're going to have usually, um, you do it uh, the three quarter of the ice here. So you're going to have, uh, but you, you're always going to start with uh, 2D here, right? I'm going to mark in red. And then you got, uh, you got, <coughs> you got all the forwards kind of all the three forwards and also the 2D here. All the rest of the team, you know, they're just gonna stand here. Um, they're just gonna wait. Uh, you're just gonna wait for uh, for for their turn. All right. 
how it, how it starts is, um, so you got one guy, all right, let's just start with the, with the right wing. He's going to have the puck here, all right? So he's going to come in. He's going to come in. These guys going to touch, uh, touch up a little bit. But as soon as you cross that uh, red line, all right, we want this guy to dump in the puck nicely in that corner, all right? So, so what I like about this drill is so he can, uh, so he can teach this guy right away like what you do, um, just like in the game, all right? So we want this guy, all right? So after you dump it in, what's his route? What's his job as an F1, all right? So he's going to be the F1. He's going to dump it in, all right? I'm going to have uh, those two D, all right? Those two D, they go, uh, they go backwards, forward, backwards, back to their position, all right? Um, so they're going to come out. You're going to dump it in. They're going to go back to the puck, and just this guy here, all right? So he's gonna <clears throat> forecheck, just like to be uh, like a F1. That means dump it in, all right? So he comes in, if the puck's over in this corner, so his job is to kind of go in like this, and then angle him this way, right? So this is the job from the F1, and it doesn't matter, this is like a one, two, two, four check, but you can do anything, you can do a, a two, two, one, two, or any four check, you name it, all right? So just, I'm going through that uh, 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 one, two, two, four check. That means, okay, F1, your job is to get here, angle, try to get that puck, all right? The job from those two defensemen is they can, they can go back, all right? They can go, go back D to D, all right? Their job is just to get D to D. They come out with the puck like this. All right, and the coach is going to be in here in this area, and you're just going to pass it to the coach. All right, so this is the, the first job. What do you have to do? All right, just get this guy in, angle, all right, have a good stick, just like in a game. All right, even if you have to, you can finish your check as well. Um, you know, good angle, good stick, and if it goes D to D, all right, you want to re attack just like in a game. You come re attack through the middle, and you get out of the zone again. After you come out, you break out, this defenseman comes out, he's gonna give it, he's gonna give it to this coach, all right? We're gonna have another two players ready, all right, for the next four check. So that means one guy here, just say the middle guy is gonna have, uh, he's gonna have the puck, so he's gonna go with the puck like this, all right, over the red line. This guy is gonna join, and now it's all depending where, in which corner is the puck going, all right? If it goes back to the same corner, all right, that means, all right, so this two defensemen, they're gonna come out, they go back again, all right? They're gonna be like this again. So how you want the F1, just like this guy, and how you want the F2 to go, all right? And that explains the second part of it, okay? So we're gonna have this guy here, just say like that, he's gonna dump it in in that corner again. So what's his job, all right? Again, he does this F1, he's gonna come in, He's going to angle, same thing, good stick, all right? You want to squeeze him to one side, and what's the chop from the F2? If you play a 1-2-2-4 two, two, check, he's going to close the wall, all right? So he's going to, he's going to come out, and he's got to come over hard as you can, all right, to close that wall. So we want to squeeze this defenseman, all right? We want to make him to go here, and we're going to want to squeeze him here with good timing, all right? Good timing, good stick. All right, uh, squeeze him here to create a turnover. So F1 goes here, F2 comes here, right? As uh, close the wall, this D, come, can, he can come up here with the, with, the, with the puck, right? Whatever he wants to do. Uh, or he goes D to D, right? If he goes D to D, again, what's the F1's job? He's going to re-attack over this side. And this guy from here, from the wall, he's going to go back over to the middle as well, all right? As soon as the puck is out of the zone, again, you're gonna give it to the coach again, and that's gonna be the third part. The last part about this drill, it's gonna be a five on five, all right? So now we, we explain, okay, what is, what is the route from the F1, right? It's gonna be like this through the middle, you know, push them to the one side. The second part it was the F1 and the F2. 
All right, F2 closing the wall, coming back out again. And now the third, third part of this drill, it's going to be a five on five. All right, that means we need, uh, we need uh, to activate those 2D to go with those forwards. All right, those uh, four checking forwards. And we also need uh, three, three new uh, forwards coming in here. Okay, and these two, three, three guys, he's trying to, to break out with those 2D who will come out again. And now we're going to have, uh, you know, just like in the game, this guy comes out again. He's going to come in over. This guy going to come over, all right, over that red line. And now he's going to put the puck in again in that same cor corner if he wanted to, all right. And now those three guys, all right, with the 2D, they're going to try to, to break out in a zone, all right. If there's any turnover or anything, you're going to play live five on five in the zone. But again... All right, we want to teach the routes. We want to teach, um, you know, a one, two, two, or whatever you wanted to do. And then, uh, like, uh, just like here, right? So we're going to have uh, one forward goes, puts it in the corner. Okay, remember his route. It's going to be like this, all right? Push on one side. Now we got the, the F, F2 coming over here. He's going to close the wall here, all right? And now what's the job from the F3? Okay, everyone is a little bit different. Uh, I'm just going to say um, he's going to be on the outside line here. Okay, he's going to be on the outside line here. All right, he's going to take care of anything what's coming around. But he's going to sneak in here. If there is a, to say, a D to D pass. Okay, if there is a D to D pass, that means a lot of, a lot of teams would like this, this forward to jump on that D right away if possible, all right? What is the job from our defensemen, all right? They're gonna join, they're gonna join, they gotta gap up, all right? Right to the, to the, to the blue line, okay? Because anything comes out or they have to pinch, they gotta be ready for it. And now we got the three guys, as soon as the puck is, you know, coming uh, across the red line, that means these guys, they go back to their position, just like in a, in a, in a normal game. Sentiment, you know, he can pick either side where the puck is going. All right, so we want to try to break out, but the most important thing, we want to forecheck, all right, just like in the game. So, what we worked on is as an F1 angle, having a good angle, stay in the middle between the dots, I think what's very important, and having a good stick on puck, all right. You're going to have a F2 coming down the wall, right? He's going to close the wall. He's going to read. If he can, he's going to jump. If not, under full control, he's going to hold, all right? Uh, he's going to have a good timing, but also, um, you know, he's going to read where is the defenseman going with the puck as well. And then you have a F3 coming in from the other side, far side. He's in charge of any D2D -D pass he's allowed to jump the D, all right? Also, you gotta be tight, you gotta come together. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a breakout or regroup or whatever it is, it's also as a forecheck. You gotta be a five-man unit, all right, to create that turnover. So any D to D, if you can, if you're tight enough, you're allowed to jump. What are the jobs from our defensemen? You know, you gotta gap up, okay, with your forwards, you gotta support, all right, you gotta support, you gotta, you gotta pinch if you can, all right? If there's any pucks coming out of your zone, well, you back check hard through the middle like always. <laughs>